Hello everybody, my name is Bryce and welcome to Game Sauce. Today I'm going to be showing you the best and easiest way to make money to become a VIP or a CEO. Becoming a VIP or a CEO is easily the best way to make money after that, which is a little ironic to be showing you the best way to make money to then do the best way to make money. But regardless of that, if you're already a VIP or a CEO, this video is kind of going to be irrelevant. But I do have another video that I made about making the most money after you become a VIP or a CEO, which I will link right now. And if that's you, go check out that video. For those of you that are still here, I'm going to be showing you two different methods in order to make easy money so you can get to that goal of $1 million. But first, please give this video a big fat like so we can get it out there to as many people as possible and help them out as well. Now without wasting any more time, let's get right into this video. The first method that I'm going to explain to you is a little bit tedious and repetitive, but it can be done solo or with friends. And that's why I recommend this one the most. It gets you a decent amount of cash and it can be done on your own whenever. You don't have to rely on anyone else. So what you're going to want to do is load up the Rockstar created mission called Cleaning the Cat House. This is a super easy mission if you do it the way that I'm about to show you. So in this mission you're going to have to pick up this hooker or prostitute or whatever she is from this hotel in the Blaine County area. And easily the best way to do this is with a helicopter. Um, if you already have one, just spawn one and go do the mission. Otherwise, a nice hack that you can do if you don't have one is call up Meriwether and get a helicopter pickup. Once he comes down, you can just shoot him and steal the helicopter and take off and do the mission from there. Once you get to the hotel, all you have to do is land on the roof and she'll come running up there and get in the helicopter and you just gotta fly away. There's gonna be a lot of enemies on the ground and that's why this is the best way to do it. You don't have to kill any of them, you just have to escape, which is also very easy because they don't have any other helicopters that come after you. Once you collect her, take her back to the destination. It's actually Martin Madrazo's house. All you have to do is land in his driveway and that's the mission. It's super simple, super fast. I was able to do this in about five to six minutes every time. And uh, you make $10,000 if you do it by yourself. Now, if you do have a crew member or a friend or something with you, at least one of them, you'll actually both get $13,000. So that is the way to do it, but you can do it on your own if you just wanna get 10. It's pretty simple. Actually, the longer you take, I think you get more money, but the trade-off there is that you could just keep doing it over and over and over again to get $10,000 every time. So I think that that's probably the better way to do it than waiting 15 minutes in the game to get more cash. Now what I did is I just did this over and over and over and over again. Yes, it gets really boring and yes, it gets really tedious, but it is pretty easy to get about $500,000 cash in the game in about a night. That's usually what it averaged me. Um, doing it is not necessarily the most enjoyable way. The next method is going to be much more enjoyable, trust me. The reason that this is a good mission is just because you can keep doing it over and over. Like I said, there's no cooldown time or anything. So as soon as you get into this little screen where it says uh, which mission you want to do next, just go to free mode and then start the mission again. That's a pretty easy way to get $10,000 each time you do it pretty fast. Now the second method in this video is a lot less reliable, but it is a lot more fun. Uh, the reliability part is the reason I didn't include this first, because I think it does make you a lot more money in the long run, but it does require you to have a certain amount of people in the lobby to either start or even make a decent amount of cash. If you don't, it's just not going to be worth it, honestly. Now what I'm talking about are the last team standing jobs. And there are some cool user created ones, specifically snipers versus stunters and insurgents versus RPGs. Unfortunately, I didn't have any footage of this because when I was trying to record this video, the Rockstar servers were a little bit messed up and nobody could join my game for some reason. Basically how it works is that there's two teams. One team spawns on top of a platform floating in the middle of the road. Uh, they have the weapons. The other team spawns on the ground with cars and basically you have to jump off of ramps onto this platform and try and knock the other team off while the other team is trying to kill you with their weapons. 
I'll have both of these jobs linked in the description so that you can add them to your game from there. But uh, each time that I did a round, I was able to get about $10,000 if you're a winner and $5,000 if you're a loser. And if you set the game to the first team to get to four wins, you actually gain about $50,000 every time you play this game. And it does take a little bit longer than the other missions, obviously, but it is definitely a lot more fun, and I think that's a pretty good trade-off. If you guys have any other methods that don't require VIP or CEO status, please leave them in the comments below and I might make another video regarding this topic. If this video helped you out, please let me know by giving it a big like, and if you're new here, please subscribe and be making more GTA content like this coming up really soon. Without further ado guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.